I go for my Meteor Beam. Preemptively into the Whimsicott. And if I miss, I'm going to cry. I just want to let you guys know. I just want to let you know that I'm actually going to cry on camera and you have to listen to it. Like, like it's, it's not a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another boost to the top of VGC 2021 session. Sorry I was gone for about a week, I'm back. I'm back on the content grind. I'm done with my classes for the semester, so I'm excited to make more videos for you guys. If you guys are enjoying the videos, and if you enjoy the videos I have been putting out, do me a favor, leave a like on this one. Subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. Also, before we get into the video, do me a favor, Click the link in the description down below. It'll take you to my community tab where I've put up a poll. And on that poll, I'm asking you guys what Pokemon you want me to make a video essay about. If you haven't seen my old video essays, they were videos where I just talk about a Pokemon relevant in the format and sort of make a fun little discussion video about it. It's it's always cool. I always put a lot of effort into editing them, and I'm really excited to get back into those. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's talk about this team here. So this is a team sent to me uh, by... Argyros VGC, who was an Italian VGC player, he messaged me saying, hey Marcos, I made this team and it took me to top 8 in the Battle Pike Tournament, which is a high level Italian tournament, and it's based around the Nut Core, which I had discussed in previous videos, I'm not like the guy who invented it, some people thought I invented Nut, and I'm like, no, I just talked about it. Uh, so, Nihilgo, Urshifu, Thunderous, very powerful core. He said, hey, I made this team, it took me to top 8, I want you to try it out. He left me some matchup tips like how versus Regigigas and Colossal teams, like not, you know, Regigigas and Colossal, but versus Regigigas or Colossal teams, I should lead off with Clefairy and Nihiligo. Uh, he left me a couple of notes here. He left me the EV spread. So yeah, if you guys want to try out the code, code is on screen. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's try to shoot for 200 likes on today's video. And do me a favor, answer the comment question of the day. What is your favorite core in the current VGC format? Are you a fan of the Arcanine, not Arcanine, are you a fan of uh, Incineroar, Kartana, Finny? Are you a fan of Colossal plus Urshifu Water? Are you a fan of Nut? Let me know. <laughs> oh, I accidentally pressed Casual Battles. We do not want to play Casual Battles. We want to play in the Ranked Battles ladder. So yeah. Also tonight, I will be live streaming. Getting back into the live streaming thing, you know? Uh, so if you guys want to support me, click the link. I think by the time this video is over, it should be 5 p.m., which means I am live on Twitch. So, yeah, and it has been a week since I played, so I dropped down 4,000 spaces. Okay, let's let's try not to uh, lose too much. This is my first day back on the grind, on the content grind, so uh, maybe, maybe it'll go well. Let me get some water. I have a water bottle right here. I feel like I need water. Some, If you're making videos, pro tip, keep water by your desk. It's, it's going to keep you from getting a dry throat and sounding weird on camera. Okay. So we're facing Benito, and his team has Regieleki, Incineroar, Kartana, Whimsicott. Sorry, that's me screwing the water bottle. Um, Inteleon and Alakazam. This is actually a really interesting team. Uh, surprisingly, no no Inteleon matchup notes here. Come on. Come on, Argyros. I can't even pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I'm joking, though. Uh, Inteleon, not too common in the format, but... Hmm. I suppose... I could just lead off with uh, Thunderous Urshifu here, and it wouldn't be terrible. There's a lot of things I could do here. Uh, in the back, I feel pretty comfortable bringing my Kartana. And I think I could go with Clefairy just for redirection, considering how frail the rest of my team is. Let's go with it. If they end up leading off with uh, Incineroar, they made a huge mistake, and I should be able to mess them up with my with my Thunderous. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So lead off with Regieleki and Inteleon. I'm actually pretty cool with this. I'm pretty fine with this lead. I do have a Focus Sash on my Urshifu, so how can I play this out? I mean, it's a relatively bulky Thunderous. Hmm. I think my main priority should be getting rid of Regieleki. I'll Dynamax here and I'll just go for the Max Airstream into Inteleon. Uh, and I'll go for the Wicked Blow into Regieleki. I don't think they'll double into Urshifu. I think they would actually target into my uh, Thunderous, if anything. And it looks like they're going to Dynamax here. I'm pretty confident we can live a hit with our Thunderous. 
mainly because this guy's got 36 HP, 4 special defense. Dynamaxed, we should take a hit. As they end up Dynamaxing the Reggie Alecki. Okay, never mind. I'm very concerned. They just Dynamaxed an Alecki in my face. That was not what I expected to face here. That was not at all what I expected to face. I might be getting nanade. There is there is a like 90% chance I'm about to get nanade. Depending on what they target into. If they end up just doubling into Urshifu, congratulations. We have plus one on our Thunderous. We are not in a terrible position, but I'm still scared of Dynamax Alecki. I think a lot of people, including myself, have been sleeping on Dynamax Alecki as an option. But excuse me, sir. I don't think I like that. All right, so they're just going to knock me out. Uh, we're probably just going to trade Dynamax. I'm pretty certain a wicked blow into a Sucker Punch will do the trick here. Then again, I'm not Choice Banded. Hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty certain Wicked Blow is going to be doing a lot to this guy. But dang, I just got Nanade. I guess I should have seen that coming. We're lower on the ladder. We're at 7,000 and there wasn't a Lecky and a fast Pokemon. So maybe I should have seen it coming. Maybe that was on me. Uh, regardless, I think I just go Clefairy here. Yeah, I think I just Helping Hand Sucker Punch and that'll do it. It should be doing about the same as a Wicked Blow at that point. Helping Hand. And they're likely just going to soak me, but this will go before the attack. So yeah, Wicked Blow, 80, 70. I'm, I'm going to say this is within range of Helping Hand Sucker Punch. And I still keep my Focus Sash. Nice, we got rid of the Alecky. Uh, but I'm still not in a phenomenal position, you know. I'm hoping they just soaked here, because that will allow me to, you know, keep my Focus Sash intact. As they do go for the soak, um, I should probably switch out the Urshifu. I don't want to lose my typing. Did they have a Grass type? I completely forgot. After after that first turn where I got soaked and annihilated on my Thunderous, I kind of just lost focus on what their team was. <laughs> I, I, I got Tunnel Vision. That's one of my main flaws when I'm playing this game. I, I do get Tunnel Vision quite often. They send in the Incineroar. I mean, they definitely don't like Urshifu. But I can't stay in here. Do I have Icy Wind or something? I have Moonblast. We'll just go for a Sash Break on the Inteleon, assuming that's their item. Unless they're like Choice Scarf. I'll get in the Kartana here. I don't believe they ever, ever go for anything other than, like, a Fake Out. Is they get in their Kartana? Okay. I'm cool with that. Got in my Kartana. I am Assault Vest and I can redirect hits. So they go for the Fake Out. Into the cart. Moonblast. Let's get a gauge on their item. I want to say that's not Assault Vest just because of the damage. We are nearly max speed. However, I'm not comfortable with the speed tier we're at. I can follow me the hit and probably eat it up. I'll go for the Sacred Sword and the Kartana. Uh, Kartana is my number one priority here, I think. Since I shouldn't drop to an attack from the uh, opposing Kartana, I am Clefairy. Clefairy is pretty strong, you know, physically speaking. It should be able to take a Smart Strike. I do outspeed their Kartana, which is really important to think or to think about in the future. Barring a crit, I should be fine. Yeah, Clefairy's absurdly bulky, man. And there's the Flare Blitz. Uh, I'm now in a pretty good position. Yeah, I think I'm in a, I'm in a position to win. Because uh, I can just go for the close combat into the... Not the Urshifu, but into the Incineroar. And they have no switch-ins to that. They're slower than my Kartana, it looks like. Uh, which means I should be able to Sacred Sword into them. So I just go for two fighting moves here and I'm all set. Incineroar should not take this close combat very well. I could also double into, into Incineroar to play it safe, but I'm 90% I'm certain they don't take the hit. Like 90%. Yeah, I'm not going to double into Incineroar. I'll just Sacred Sword Kartana. I can't let Kartana run around, you know? As they withdraw the Kartana, they're going into the Inteleon here. I still have Sucker Punch, which is a really important tool to playing out the rest of this match. And that does about half. Okay. You don't eat this up. 
I'm in, I'm, I'm Urshifu. I was concerned maybe they were like a super physically defensive set, but the chances of that were pretty low. All right, Misty Terrain is gone. They're within range of Sucker Punch, uh, so there's really no situation where I don't just close combat and Leaf Blade. Yeah, because they can't one-shot my Urshifu. They'd have to double into it. I'll close combat here in case they are running Protect. It'll allow me to bypass it. Um, and I suppose... I suppose I just Leaf Blade into Inteleon, yeah. I'm Assault Vest, so I eat every hit from Inteleon. It doesn't matter what they protect. As long as they don't double into Urshifu, I win. Because if they give me Kartana, then I just pressure them with Sucker Punch for the rest of the match. Or even then, I still have my Focus Ash. They can protect the Inteleon here, and I still win. They are Scarf Muddy Water. Okay. I may have been nae just now. Depends what they targeted. <laughs> Actually, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they targeted, because if they went for the attack onto my Kartana, uh, then I, I still win, because <laughs> I Sucker Punch. Uh, and if they went for the attack onto my Urshifu, I still win, because I'm faster. With my Kartana, I mean. And I have revealed Sucker Punch. But it doesn't matter, because I already close combated, yeah. I don't know why I completely forgot that I close combated because I'm a moron. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Like I said, I get I get bad tunnel vision when something catches me off guard. It takes me a second to come back. I literally forgot that I already won. <laughs> I literally forgot that I already won. I was planning out the next turn like I like I needed to play it. Alright. So yeah, that that's that's a classic Moxie boosted play, forgetting that you won already. Let's go ahead and continue here. So we are rank five thousand now. I'm going to try to shoot for number one. I'm going to try to shoot for number one on, on tonight's stream. Let, let's let's go for number one on tonight's stream. That's going to be the goal. All right. Ooh, okay. Interesting team. Hydreigon is something you don't often see, but it's definitely a scary Pokemon. Their team does not like my Kartana. There's a lot of things my Kartana can mess up. Hmm. I think they would always lead off with their Whimsicott, though. That makes me want to lead off with my Nihiligo. Because how much speed is on Nihiligo? Nihiligo has 236 speed, Tim and Nature. I should be faster than pretty much everything on their side of the field, except for the, um, except for possibly their Nihiligo and the Whimsicott, of course. We will go with... I definitely want to Rotom Heat here. Honestly, I think my best lead, as long as they don't lead off Rotom Wash, which I don't think they ever would here, is Nihiligo, Rotom Heat. I'll bring the Kartana in the back, uh, and I'll bring the Clefairy for redirection. So we're going extremely offensive this game. Yeah, so that lead covers a couple of things. Uh, it makes it so I can likely pick up a KO on the Whimsicott if they decide to go for anything there. Um, the Rotom Heat also staves off the Kartana lead, which is really, really important. Since very few Kartana are running Sash at the moment, they're pretty much all Assault Vest to take advantage of that extra bulk when people are Dynamaxed. So that's that's big. Whimsicott, Rotom. Okay. So like I said, that was the one lead I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't face, and I guess they recognize that. Um, I could try to Trick Room here, and that'd be my best bet. I think. I, I think I get in Clefairy... Assuming they Tailwind, I go for my Trick Room. Because the rest of their team was relatively... Or actually, I guess my team is a lot faster than theirs. I could actually just try to go for a KO. Hmm. Maybe just Protect here. Yeah, I'll just Protect and get in the Clefairy. That's my safest play. Uh, and then next turn, I can try to like Follow Me plus Meteor Beam. Or even just Trick Room. It depends. I want to know what they go for this turn. This turn is going to be huge. If they go for a Nasty Plot, I've been nanated on. But I think they would go on the offense here. As they protect... Let's see if they Nasty Plot it. I'd be really scared. Yeah, they Nasty Plot it. Okay, um, I don't like that. 
It makes me very scared. They should Tailwind here. I'll go ahead and I'll set up a Trick Room. Just follow me. Trick Room, yeah. Uh, I think they would Tailwind here to try to knock out Nihiligo. Yikes. I could have Meteor Beamed. I mean, once I'm Dynamaxed, I can take a, a Max Geyser from the Rotom. As long as I set up, you know, the sand and stuff, so. Let's see what comes in here. Kartana? No, Nihiligo, okay. So it actually, it would almost be in my best interest to lose my, to lose my Clefairy here. Would it be? I mean, I have my Kartana in the back. I think it would be in my best interest to lose Clefairy so Kartana can come in. And then I just Dynamax. Oh no, Clefairy hangs on. Okay. Well, that's not great. Um, because now I have to worry about them Trick Rooming on my, on my thing, you know? Uh, because they could Trick Room on my Trick Room and just reset it. Which also makes me quite tempted to trick room on their trick room, assuming that I trick room. <laughs> if that makes sense, I just I'm just assuming that they're gonna go for some kind of offensive move here, um, into the Clefairy to knock it out, and also trick room, trying to reverse my trick room, you know. But I don't I don't want to over predict. I really don't. So maybe, you know, I I have to go for it. I have to go for it. And guys, just know that I'm doing this assuming that I'm making a really big brain play. I'm just I'm just hoping, man. I'm just hoping. You better you better have trick room, man. All right, Rotom went first. Uh tell me that you're in the Hiligo trick room, please. They sludge bombed. Okay, I threw. I absolutely threw just there, right there. I really thought they were going to trick room on my trick room. I mean, their, their Tailwind isn't up, so I should be fine with Kartana. I suppose it wasn't that bad, now that I think about it. Because I am faster than their Rotom. They don't have a Tailwind up. Alright, yeah. Let's just, let's just double into the Rotom. Uh, Meteor Beam plus Max Overgrowth should do it. I, I Maybe that was the best thing for to happen to me, you know? Maybe. I'm so tired. I feel like that last turn made no sense at all, by the way. Now that I think about it, because they didn't even get the Tailwind up, I was acting as though they had the Tailwind up. I'm so tired, man. <laughs> I play so bad when, I, when I'm, when i like, getting off of, uh, off of, like, a little break from Pokemon. I play so bad. I'm assuming these two moves will KO. Yeah, and I'm going to outspeed you now and hit you with this uh, Meteor Beam. Oh, they have a berry. I think I still KO, though, because it is Meteor Beam from Nihiligo. Come on, baby. If you miss, I'm going to be so upset. I've never clicked this move in a competitive match. And I feel like now that I have, I'm going to miss. No, we're good. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so what'd they go for? I get a beast boost here. As they meteor beam themselves. Ooh, meteor beam, ooh. <laughs> Alright, um, that's probably going into Kartana. But I'm Assault Vest, so I'm going to take like nothing from it. Yeah, nice. So Kartana's in a pretty good position here, to be honest. Like, I'm not even scared of of their, like, Whimsicott or anything. They could go for, like, Fake Tears, and that'd be fine. Oh, 
Because their best move is Power Gem now. Yeah. I just attack the Nihiligo. I just Steel Spike it. There's the Whimsicott. If they do have Fake Tears, which I don't think they do for this team. They might, actually. They have a lot of special attackers. Uh, I just Steel Spike into the Nihiligo. Assuming they would Tailwind here or maybe Fake Tears. Uh, and I go for the Sludge Bomb into the Whimsicott. Or maybe I Trick Room. I don't know. Last time I Trick Roomed, I was being an idiot. Last time I was being a big stinky idiot, you know? Big stinky idiot town. Population Moxie boosted. As they protect. Okay, that's fine. Looks like I picked the right Pokemon. As they protect. That's fine. Looks like there was no right Pokemon. Give me this defense boost, man. Awesome. Awesome. Now. Um... I want to say they would Tailwind here. I really, really want to say they would Tailwind here, which makes me really, really, really want to Trick Room on their Tailwind. However, it's just not safe. It's just not. It's just not safe. Matter of fact, they might just go for a Fake Tears, you know? So I'm, I'm not even going to try. If this is the turn, I should have Trick Roomed, I swear. No, they withdraw. They're pretty much sacking something to Kartana. Oh, no, they have their own Kartana. Okay. If they tailwind it, I swear. Yeah, I should have trick roomed. Yay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Um, so, here's the thing. They may be within range of my Sacred Sword. It's a pops- it's a pops -ability. Please be not Focus Sash. They are Focus Sash, yeah. Um, I was hoping I would be able to get a Beast Boost there. They, I think in this situation, they should always go for the KO on my Nihiligo. So, since they have revealed Protect on their Whimsicott, it's safe to assume they would Protect it again here. And I can definitely take a Sacred Sword from their Kartana, from this range, after, like, you know, getting that... Def not the Defense Boost, because Sacred Sword ignores it, but after getting the uh, HP back... I think I Sacred Sword their Kartana, and I have to deny them a Beast Boost here by going into my Rotom. And the next turn, it should be relatively safe to overheat Kartana and go for Sacred Sword. Or not Sacred Sword. Um, if, if their Kartana survives somehow, which it might. Oh, they withdraw the Whimsicott. Okay, I have made a big oopsie. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I would be able to um, go for the... Um, Smart Strike into the Whimsicott as the Nihiligo possibly switched in, but doesn't matter. They go for their Sacred Sword, and I live. Cool. Can my Sacred Sword knock you out? Yes. Okay. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Get a nice little Beast Boost there. But I still have a lot to fear. I still have a lot to fear. Uh, namely, the fact that two of my Pokemon are within range of getting KO'd by Nihiligo. I gotta be real careful with this Rotom. I mean, Rotom has max HP, but definitely not enough special defense to live this. I almost want to make the read and go for the overheat here and then be able to win with Nihiligo, but it's just, it's too risky. Um, I'm going to wait for their Tailwind to run out. They have two turns of Tailwind. Okay. I'll protect. If they end up going for the Meteor Beam here into my Rotom, they 100% they earn this one. But I'm pretty certain they have Power Gem as well. It's pretty rare to not have Power Gem and Meteor Beam. I'm, I, I know that, you know, mine doesn't have both, but it's it's still pretty rare. Yeah, they have Power Gem. Awesome. All right. So I would say... It's in my best interest to try to make a, a big brain play here, right? They have one turn of Tailwind left. I think they would actually protect the Whimsicott, right? I'm going to Meteor Beam that Whimsicott, and I'm going to send in the Kartana. 
Actually, I should never send in Kartana here. What am I doing? Uh, we'll just go for the Thunderbolt. And maybe I just double protect, actually, yeah. So what I'm going to try to do is actually KO this Whimsicott the next turn. Yep, there it is. Get my Meteor Beam going. That'll give me plus one. I get a double protect, which is huge. They power gem. I go for my Meteor Beam. Preemptively into the Whimsicott. And if I miss, I'm going to cry. I just want to let you guys know. I just want to let you know that I'm actually going to cry on camera and you have to listen to it. Like, like it's it's not a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> um, And I need Kartana to win. So I'll just sack the uh, the Whimsic... Oh, I'll, I'll just sack to this... um To this Nihiligo. As they try to double protect, they are not as lucky as I am. And I get my Meteor Beam off. <laughs> delete. Just delete the Whimsicott. Now, they do have Power Gem, and I do not. So that's something to keep in mind. But now I'm at plus two special attack. As they Power Gem, but they didn't go for the Tailwind, so I just win by virtue of Kartana existing. Awesome. So I just click Power... I, I, I click uh, Meteor Beam again, and I, I just win. Nice. All right. Let's go for it. Click the Meteor Beam. Into this Nihiligo. No reason to protect. We'll just Thunderbolt. And we win. Awesome. So, honestly, I'm, I'm really happy it worked out that way. <laughs> I'm really happy it worked out that way. Now, it has been a little under a half hour, but I usually, you know, restrict my videos to about 30 minutes. Sometimes it'll be 40 minutes, but I don't really have time to play a third battle today. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you sticking with me through that little break I had to take. I really needed it, just mentally. It, it helped me out a lot. Uh, and it let me focus on school and pass on my classes with some pretty good grades. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure you vote in that community tab. If you want to if you want to choose the next Pokemon, I do a video essay on. Vote in that community tab. Join the Discord linked in the description down below. Follow me on Twitch because I should be going live right about now uh, if you're watching this when it first goes up. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, do all that, 200 likes, everything, what's up, bada bing, bada boom, Mr. World as I step in the room. Yeah, uh, I, I needed that break, man. I, I feel so much more energized when I record now. So yeah, uh, have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.